how long do I have to, do I have to like decant this wine? Do, should I buy one of those? I've got this thing, this tool that you put in there. It's supposed to quicken the aerate. I mean, or, or should I just open it like, 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 like 10 minutes before? Do I need to put it in the chiller? There's a lot of questions and actually you don't need any of that stuff. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I'm a certified level two sommelier with the Court of Master Sommeliers in South Florida. So this is a question that I'm not going to say I, I'm not a snob, remember? Years ago, almost about 10, 15 years ago, I had every contraption. I still own this stuff. So I was just a layperson consumer, even though I'm a sommelier, but I just thought that wines, there was always, I used to give, I think, four reasons for decanting a wine. You know, those big decanters, as we see in the pictures here, we'll talk about these contraptions sooner. And one reason was because you had a wine that was very young and the tannins and the acidity in the wine were just very, very tight, we call that. You didn't get much bouquet because the, the wine was just very, very freshly bottled and not aged long enough. And, and there's not much flavor to the wine, just very grippy, dry tannins and opening and adding oxygen to the wine and some sort of contraption or aeration, as they call it, would help the wine, what they call breathe. And red wines would do that. Even some white wines benefit from that, they claim. Uh, that, and, and it's true that uh, that would help it, uh, you know, speed up the process a little bit. Number two reason was when you had a very old wine that was aged properly, but there might be a bunch of sediment in that bottle, in the very bottom, and you wanted to decant it with a candle so you could look through the neck of the bottle and make sure that the guest or yourself didn't get much sediment. You would hold back as soon as you start to see any sediment come through the neck of the bottle with the candle that you could see through the neck of the bottle, you would stop pouring and leave that little bit and give you a wine without sediment. Number three was because, I think there was only four reasons. Yeah, number three is because you just want to look cool at a restaurant and have, you know, you want to know why everybody with those thousand dollar bottles has those things and you want one too, even if you're drinking white Zinfandel, you want your, to be a decanter and that's really it. And I was in Italy at, uh, in, in, in Brunello di Montalcino area and we were going to open up a 1997 Reserva. And I said uh, to my, my good friend and uh, who I just saw in Montalcino, Alberto Passeri from La Drilla Winery, and he was a, a great Brunello producer. And I said, so how long should we have to decant this? And he said, you, I won't use the, well, you know, the F-bomb Americans. He said, you just don't have any patience, do you? I said, what do you mean patience? It's an old wine. It's probably still young in 1997, even for Brunello. It could be considered young, a great year, and probably has loads of sediment. He said, you know, when I'm in America and I see fast food places and people get online with their cars and drive through, one of those places or anything they wait online, you know, at a restaurant or something, they, they, even if it's a fast food place and it's pretty quick, quicker than normal of a sit down restaurant, but people were honking the horns because they want the next person to move along. It's not fast enough. It's fast food. That's not fast enough. And he said, it's the same thing. The one we're going to eat dinner at seven o'clock tonight. It's four o'clock now. How about we just open the wine now and leave it sitting on the counter. There's your decanter. There's your aeration patient. And, you know, and I found that through the industry when I tell a consumer or a, at a restaurant that this bottle needs, can you please give this at least a minimum or the label said, they'll, they'll stop buying wine. The label says we recommend, I, I have an Amarone producer that I, I, I deal with all the time, you know, in my life. And, and it says on the back of each label, we recommend that you allow at least one hour you know, of opening this wine before consuming the wine. People go, no, can you give me something different? I need some, but all red wines like that at any price point would benefit if you opened them up in advance and actually chilled them down a little bit well to actually real room temperature or cellar temperature and drink it like 65, 69 degree, not, you know, like 75 in your household in Florida. But yeah, they just, uh, they recommend that and people get turned off and they, and in every restaurant I've ever worked, they, they actually, they, 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 
they, they tell you the bottle's not as good as you represented it of the wine and you come back an hour later and they're drinking the wine, they order five more bottles and I told them you should have opened up four more bottles because now we have to whole, start the whole process. Always the last glass of wine because Americans lack patience and uh, is always the best one and you really decide, I really hated that wine but now two hours later or the next day some wine, I like it even better than I liked it the first day because we gave it the time to breathe. So that inspired all the contraptions. I could tell you when I came home from Italy, I stopped using all of this stuff I'm about to show you. There are so many contraptions that people ask me if I carry to try to accomplish what really can be accomplished for no money, just a different lifestyle like the Europeans and the winemakers uh, or even winemakers in America who actually work for wineries just giving the wine some time. Stop with these. So here's some of the contraption. We have first and foremost a decanter and they come in all kinds of crazy shapes. I see I see my friends uh, at Spago, Christy Norman out there. I mean, I guess it's part of the show, but there's all these kind of ridiculous uh, like like swirly things. I don't even know how that aerates the wine, but it looks like a snake, a duck. There's duck decanters. I mean, wacky shapes of decanters. Obviously more holes there in the space. I mean, than the bottle of wine, a bigger opening. So you decant it and you swirl it around and you look cool, but that's not even good enough. They even have these contraptions, one to uh, a strainer to catch the sediment. And then you've got this, you see this thing has little holes in there. This comes with the decanter. Some people use this and it'll come out like a spout. So you put this in there and then you fit this on top of the bottle and you pour the wine through this contraption and then that's going to maybe even do it before you decant it. It'll come out the little hole and that'll aerate it. Then they've got these venturis and all kinds of contraptions that hook on top of the bottle. And this has some air holes and it makes slurping sounds like a Japanese person eating ramen noodles, you know, slurping's allowed in Japan. And this thing of and you hold this over the glass if you don't want to decant the whole bottle. And it doesn't make a little difference, yeah. But there are so many things out there in the market. They keep coming up with new inventions to, and people ask me if I carry these items or if I know where I can get these items. And on the internet every day, a new item to aerate the wine and is all that you really need. And actually the better enjoyment of the wine is patience. Because if you open the bottle and pour some right away, if the wine is sound, you get to, you, you pour a little bit. Don't be pouring a lot in the glass. You get to enjoy the wine at, at see how the difference it is, how that vintage to really judge that bottle of wine, how it tastes when you first open it, then you pour a little bit more at 30 minutes later or 10 minutes later, every hour towards the end, you know, then the second, and you start judging the wine and really evaluating the vintage and you get so much pleasure as new nuances and new flavors, new aromatic come out as you let the wine just breathe naturally. And as far as sediment, you know, if you do get a little sediment, I mean, you don't need a candle, you don't need this contraption. If you get a little sediment, as the Alberto told me in Italy, it's healthy. The Italians are not afraid of a little sediment. You don't even feel it going down. It's actually the grape skins, a little bit of sediment. That's actually the healthy part for you. It's not going to hurt you. A little bit of sediment, you see it on the glass. Oh my God, there's some sediment stuck to the glass. So I don't use any of this anymore. I recommend that you don't. And I recommend that you just kind of plan ahead when you're going to have a bottle of wine. You know, open the bottle in advance. Is that so difficult for Americans to do? It, it just open the bottle a little, an hour in advance. 